Shalini? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Shalini. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm good. So, Salini, just going through your profile, you just take a few uh, interview all uh, today. So, your profile a bit compared to others is different because looks like you are from biotech background. Yes, sir. Okay, but uh, you were telling uh, you have 1.5 year experience to data management, data reporting, data analysis role. Yes, sir. Okay, how come from biotech, biology background, to in this uh, data role where it start and how it start uh, so it has started two years before sir uh, before after completing my msc biotechnology i have uh, joined uh, another company sir it is uh, based on uh, it was uh, related to my field sir medical then i took uh, uh, due to my personal problem i took the break where i've uh, researched uh, so i've decided to change my career so where I have researched about the uh, data science and data um, analyst. So okay. I have uh, uh, did some uh, online courses and I have joined one company as a data analyst, trainee data analyst. Mm -hmm. They have uh, started my journey as a data analyst. That I have as a, uh, as a trainee, sir. So I have worked there, sir. Okay. Nice. nice. So you mentioned that ETL project, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you define what is that ETL and wh what is your, your involvement in that project? Can you elaborate from, from starting to till the delivery of the project? Can you elaborate? Yeah. Yes, sir, sure. ETL project, it's uh, basically ETL stands for extraction, transformation and loading the data. So uh, basically, uh, we have a data, uh, it's in the Excel format. So we have uh, used the uh, Microsoft SQL server for the transformation of a data using database management and from transforming uh, extracting transforming and loading i have uh, we have extracted the data from uh, excel and i have a uh, transform into a sql server the, there we uh, do a query through analysis uh, for uh, further uh, getting insights using sql queries uh, we have uh, done uh, analysis uh, i have used uh, uh, sql queries uh, like joins set operators uh set operators joins having and whereby uh sorry having and uh, group by uh, for clause and uh, we have also done uh after uh doing the query through analysis i have also extracted data for uh, further visualizations using a business intelligence tool tableau where i have also created a dashboards okay Currently, ETL, what a specific tool you are using for ETL? So Microsoft SQL Server, sir. Okay, you are doing the minimal transformation. Yes. You are sir. data extracting to data uploading. What okay. is your source uh, file here? What is source here and which one is your source loading Source file target? is Excel, sir. Excel okay, is a source. Is okay, and target is your? Uh, Microsoft SQL data, Service. Database. Okay. Database, sir. Only you are extracting data from Excel or any other sources you do connect with it? So other sources also, sir. Other, what are other sources you connect from? Uh, the It might be a CSV file, sir. Okay. okay. Excel format. Okay. So data, when you when you telling that a, uh, a lot of data uploading into data warehousing database, what is your biggest challenges while uploading the data and how you overcome that challenges? So while uploading data. Um... Like you generally to like I'm exporting data from Excel to data warehousing database. Okay. Yes, but uh, any challenge you faced? No, sir. While uh, converting uh, the Excel, we have uh, data types, sir. So mm -hmm. if we have any, uh, if, if we need to change the data types, we mm -hmm. have to check before uploading. So in a data uh, upload, in up, uh, while uh, transforming, we can uh, do some changes for the data types if you want. What transformation you do in your data? So uh, 
we can check the variable names or we can assign a data type so for that okay how will define data mapping data mapping sir i'm not sure so okay you are not sure data but when you connect a source table data and target table data what do you do there so we are transforming data from one source to the another source sir you need to connect and that connection is called so uh, server sir microsoft sql server we used to for connecting okay you check okay no problem do you have a knowledge on data governance you have any idea about data governance no sir but uh, basically it is used to uh, ensure that that the data uh, it's to maintain the data the data quality okay data governance data quality not much idea okay okay sir. okay so like you are telling like i am managing lot of data defining when you tell a lot of data from other sources when you put apply lot of uh, number of a tool to data cleaning data transformation which tool is the best for your uh, data visualization can you tell me so for data visualization tableau is is best sir and what about excel and python so in excel and python also we can do sir but in tableau uh, it's like uh, it's more easy so it's handy for visualization so especially okay data visual specialization is more okay so it's like uh, analyzing the data through visualization so okay you do analyze through visualization visualizations okay when okay. i'm doing data cleaning how will define that data cleaning so data cleaning is uh, we get a uh, uh, data in a uh, like sometime it's like a raw data or the some information is missing so we can uh, do uh, we can like we can check for that any missing values we can fill using the data cleaning uh, null values also we can uh, if any there is a uh, string uh, characters so we can like remove the uh, spaces like that so this is like data cleaning sir okay do you have knowledge on a uh, tableau tool also data visualization tableau yes sir okay what is data blending so data blending is like uh, uh, we can like uh, we can join the uh, data sets from two different sources sir uh, like the, like sql join sir we can uh, in tableau we can use data blending sir so for joining uh, two okay. Uh, tables okay what is show me show sorry, me sir. show me features in tableau so show me is like a home button so so when you uh, like uh, it's like uh, we can uh, elaborate the graphs which are present like it will give us a suggested graphs for our particular data set okay what about to drill down uh drill down so i, I have no idea sir i read it in yes sir it's like a, we can like uh, uh, we can uh, arrange the uh, variables uh, into the hierarchy like for example we have a year so we can also uh, connect to, uh, we can also add to the month wise and date wise so okay what are the different filter you use in tableau uh, filters wise we can use uh, there are color uh, like in the color form we can use the filters and um... okay uh, no issue in sql you are using like a, it will, a different type of sql you used what is the difference between upper case and lower case so when you use upper case, uh, it's a scalar function. So in upper case, if you want a particular string characters to convert into a upper case, then we use this upper uh, upper case. And in the lower case, uh, it is used to convert the uh, capital uh, string into a, a smaller string letters. What is the difference between car and a worker? Mm -hmm. So the difference is like the length of the characters we can choose. So characters like string characters sir 
Okay. Any idea about to trigger in database? Uh, trigger sir uh, is also called uh, like a store uh, procedure sir. So it's like we can uh, call. Uh, it's like of um, it's uh, like uh, uh, SQL command sir, so that we can call it uh, uh, to perform a particular task. Sir. Like we can store it in once. Okay, nice. What is your weakness? Mm, my weakness. So, so I'll get like when when I'm learning new things, I'll I'll take some time so to learn it. But it's like a it's like I'm slow learning. That's oh, no. my weakness. Why you are leaving that current organization? What what is the reason? Then? So, uh, my I took a uh, gap sir because of I, my baby. Okay. So, uh, so where I was working, I used to get like a primary work so like data collecting and extracting. So, I want to explore more tools also. Where I have uh, upgraded my skills in like Python and also. So, I want to implement that in you know, my further career also. So, I want to change. Okay. Whom you are reporting in your organization? Uh, my manager, sir. Okay, you are reporting to a manager level. Yes. What is your biggest failure in your life? How you overcome? Uh, my biggest like time management, sir. Like uh, the biggest failure in your life? How you overcome that? So it's like I'm lagging behind, sir, for because of. Uh, and I'm working on it to upgrade my skills and also to to be a successful in a corporate world also to be a working so okay also balance my family life so okay yeah good to have a, a meet with you today Shalini I, any question anything you want to ask oh, as per now no questions sir okay. thank all you right. sir all the best Shalini we oh, are uh, checking thank few you. candidate and taking in more few more interview. So if you are if your profile shortlisted, HR will get back to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.